Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can create your markings with GIMP. I use GIMP 2.8 but if you have GIMP 2.10 or even 2.7 it doesn't matter because you have the same functions in it. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to take the map of the, um, of the horse we need. That's really important, like you need this map. To, to draw on. It's just that you know like the, the size of the marking and that you know um, what is what, right? <clears throat> There's also a, mark a map where the uh, regions of the horse is um, are lined, uh, lined out, right? <clears throat> if we do that bigger now, wait, can we can make that on the same size. Right. So I'm gonna explain you the map a little bit. So this this is the neck, shoulders, belly, uh, the the thing behind. It. This is the the leg on from the side, and this is the leg from the inside, like outside, and this both are inside. This is the uh, in front, the head, and uh, here you can see ear insides and ear outsides. Also, these are the hooves and hooves outside. All right, so we're gonna draw a marking now. I'm gonna do a really simple marking, like a head marking. I'm gonna do a new, new uh, layer. Take this red. And the second color is this yellow. Really important. <clears throat> if you can't see it, I will, I will write the, the name of them in the description. Alright. We take the red, because this is the part that will be white. And now, we're gonna draw... I think we're just gonna, just gonna draw a face marking. Right. Make sure you're in the, on the new layer. Right. Something like this. What is important um what is important to know is that like you you have to mirror some stuff like for example this is really easy to show on this layer um if you end up a marking if you end up a marking here right like you draw leg like marking whatever you have to end it on the same place here as well like you know like this thing is this thing, like this uh, space is this space to make it look good. So you know like, or for example, other leg markings, like you can do this stuff, you know, like, but have to go on the same area, like on the other side. Really important to know. All right. Move this again. Continue our marking. So like this is our line art and now we're gonna fill it out. All right, now we make it look a little bit better. Like you can always do your own style while making markings. Like um 
you don't have to copy style like or you don't have to be perfect at the beginning just just draw what you can right no one is a pro i'm still i'm still not a pro as well like i've still i still need a lot to learn Most important thing is that you take time for your markings. Like you can't hurry markings. You always have need to have time. All right, this is our marking now. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna um, close the alpha channel on this area, take our yellow and make everything yellow that we think should like it's is pink right at the end. Like the yellow part will be the pink part at the end. Go so like this. And now to make it look a little bit more smooth and then that there is no clear line. We'll just use the finger and make it a little bit smoother. You know, like this. Exactly. Right, what we're gonna do as well is uh we copy this layer now, make this on like the the layer below we make it on fifty percent this this is uh what I gotta show you now is my marking technique right um now we take the rubber uh a really smooth uh smooth pencil and uh wait wrong layer, go on the upper layer and uh just remove a little bit from the edges just take away a little bit from the edges at the end this will look uh will make the it'll make the marking look smooth and not like it's really painted on i like this a little bit better but there are a lot of people that like sharp ones more it always depends on yourself so try to find out your own technique and um yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go on the bottom layer and make it like use a filter that makes your um makes your back background kind of blurry. Like it's this and then this. I don't uh, my my gym is on German, so I'm really sorry. But yeah, to make it look blurry, put it on one. Oh, I forgot something. If you do this, make sure you on like you you make the alpha channel open again. I'm sorry. Right there we go. Now you put them both together, these both layers, on one again. And now we make a new layer and make it pure black. Right. And there we have it. This is our marking. We're gonna We're gonna save now. We're gonna save it as Blaze One. Now we're gonna export it as Place one PNG. Yes. At uh, the folder I put it in, by the way, is um I just put it in the wrong folder, I think. Yeah, I put it in the wrong folder. Wait, let me let me <coughs> let me put it in the wrong right folder. I'm sorry. 
scoff tutorial. Wait, where is it? Uh, here. Yeah, there we go. I have a special order for my things. It's really important for you. Like, make sure you have a special order for your stuff. A special folder for your stuff. Okay, there we go. Now it's saved, right? You can save it wherever, like wherever, but make sure it is saved. Now we close that window. And now we open our thumb. Like now we're gonna make a thumbnail. I like this is my, my folder with my markings. And um there we have a file that's called thumbnail. Yeah, this is the 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 gym to use my thumbnail. Uh the most important thing is like <coughs> open like make some make a new file that is this big 256 x 256 it's important because that is the the size of the thumbnail don't change that right and now you can i don't know make your own thumbnail design it however you want it i will just call this place one change my text comic make it big put it in the middle and now we need a new color. Background color. There we go. And now we're gonna export it as thumbnail. No place. One thumb. That's always that's how I call my things still. Uh, you see that? So I gotta save it. Right? Perfect. Good. And now is the now we go to the step where you need the dds.i uh, the dds file right you um all, some people say you need a plugin for that no you don't what you're gonna do is you take a new file um take the file we just saved and go to dxt t5 like, right this one uh i will give you the link i will just put the link of this home page in the description below and then you can just do that convert file and this will take a while now meanwhile we will open our programs we need a finishing programs right you go to your uh you go to this pc there and there and this is the, this are the two programs we need to finish the marking so i will put the link from both of them in the description just download it. If you need help, I'll always available on Facebook as Tiffany Cornell. All right, we're gonna open SOS three O C. This one, and then we're gonna file open package. All right, I always use the Nick Nikki's uh, three channel package. Also, the link for this one I will put it in the description as well. <coughs> you put you click on this. Then you click on clone or fix. All right, here the region is where the marking will pop up, right? Where you can select it. I will always leave it on back because back is the is my is the place where it loads as fast as like in my game. Sometimes maybe it's sad or whatever. Even if it's a face marking, I always have it on this. All right, now we take this one, we take this one, and we take this one. Don't take this one, like just this for. And then you rename it. You re rena rename it Blaze 1. Start. And then save it where you have saved the other stuff. And done. Your updated package is ready. Great. Now, by the way, the Blaze already downloaded. It is in your downloads order. There you have it. <coughs> so, what we're going to do now is open the second program. Right, S three PE file new. Right click inside here. Import from package. Um, now you go to the folder and search it. Package place one. There we have it. Import and here no. <coughs> then the three, the third from the top. Uh, right click it and replace it and you're gonna replace it with the thing you downloaded right this one and there you can see if it looks like this then it is correct then you go to thumb replace and search your thumbnail what you just created place one 
And there you have it. File, save as. You can double save it. What I do, I always save it in my do yourself marking ordner. This is my you can put it wherever, but make sure it is in the in the packages ordner, right? I have some folders in it, so whatever. You call it place one and save it. And that's it. Your marking is in the game. Now you just need to start your PC, uh, your Sims, and then you can check it. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm available on Facebook as Tiffany Cornell. Thanks for watching this tutorial and yeah.